Hi there, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best wet, dry shop vacs currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite five. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm gonna skip the fluff and just jump right in. If you wanna confirm my recommendations, go in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the best price. All right, so the first one on the list is gonna to go to my recommendation for the best medium shop vac, and this is the Stanley six gallon wet dry vacuum. So really the heavyweight champ of garage cleanliness, the Stanley six gallon wet dry vacuum, it's like your reliable butler for messes, except you don't need to pay it a salary. Just give it a home in your garage. Now I'm not saying your garage is messy, but if it were a soup, this vacuum would be the crew Crouton that soaks it all up. Key features, attractive price point, it's like finding a designer suit at a thrift shop, quality meets affordability, and your wallet gets to breathe a sigh of relief. A six gallon capacity, this bad boy can swallow debris like a hungry hippo in a marble factory, ensuring your space is as clean as a whistle or at least a well-licked dinner plate. And easy to move and low noise level, it's as quiet as a church mouse with slippers on and moves with the grace of a ballet dancer. If ballet dancers sucked up dirt, instead of applause. So who's this for? Well, if you're the proud owner of a garage that sometimes looks like a crime scene for dirt, this Stanley vacuum is your go-to cleanup accomplice. Ideal for those who appreciate a good bargain and a clean space. It's like hiring a ninja to take out your trash. Quietly efficient and doesn't leave a trace. Just don't expect it to gobble up your cousin's leftover pizza slices. It does struggle with the chunkier bits of life. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the most versatile option. This is the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Packout 2.5 gallon wet dry vacuum. So this is really the MacGyver of mess control. It might look like it's packing your lunch, but inside it is all business. If vacuum cleaners had a VIP lounge, this little guy would be sitting in it, sipping an oil martini. Key features, self-contained and fits with Milwaukee's packout system. This vacuum is like a Ninja Turtle. It carries its home on its back. Back. Everything it needs is tucked away inside, ready for action. Also a sit-on feature. Ever wished you could take a load off while cleaning? Well, now you can. It's like a vacuum cleaner and a bench had a very functional baby. Quiet operation as well. It purrs like a kitten on a Sunday afternoon. You can tidy up without waking up the neighborhood or scaring the living daylights out of your cat. So who's this for? Well, for those already cruising in the Milwaukee lane, this wet dry vac is like finding out your new car has a hidden espresso machine. It's perfect for the person who loves their tools coordinated and their cleaning sessions unobtrusive. If your messes are more about dust bunnies than boulder sized debris, this is your huckleberry. Just beware, it's Achilles heel. It's not a fan of anything that looks like it belongs in a forest. So keep it sleek, keep it small, and your Milwaukee will be the bell of the ball, or at least the garage. The next one is my recommendation for the best for big messes. This is a Craftsman 16 gallon wet dry vacuum. So this is really the Goliath of grime or the behemoth of blotches. This isn't your grandma's dust buster. This is what you call in when your mess has its own zip code. Picture a black hole in your garage, but instead of swallowing galaxies, it's inhaling the chaos of your last DIY project. Key features, unstoppable sucking power. This vacuum doesn't just suck, it inhales with the force of a thousand vacuums. It's like a tornado went to vacuum school and graduated with honors. Also, great water capacity with a 16 gallon tank. This beast could probably suck up a small pond or at least make a decent attempt at it. It's like having a personal reservoir for filth. Unique flexible hose design as well. The hose moves like it's doing the limbo at a Caribbean beach party, ensuring no nook or cranny is safe from its reach. So who's it suited for? Well, if your messes are so big they're starting to apply for their own reality TV show, then the Craftsman 16 gallon is your ticket to cleanliness. It's perfect for the DIY enthusiast who considers sawdust a secondary carpet, or the professional who needs reliability and power. Just remember, it's huge. If your storage space is as tight as skinny jeans after Thanksgiving, then you might want to measure up before bringing this monster home. The next one is my recommendation for the best space saving shop vac though, and this is the VacMaster 5 gallon wall mount wet dry vacuum. So for those of you living in spaces so tight you can't even swing a cat, uh, not that you'd want to, but I present the VacMaster 5 gallon wall mount wet dry vacuum. This little marvel is like a superhero for your garage wall, hanging there ready to leap into action and fight grime at a moment's notice. It's the vacuuming equivalent of a studio apartment, small but surprisingly capable. 
Key features, cool remote on off switch. It's got a remote switch at the end of the hose so you can turn it off faster than you can say, oops, I sucked up a sock. Also, all the attachments you could dream of. This thing comes with more attachments than a smartphone in 2024. It's like the Swiss Army knife of vacuums if the Swiss Army was really into cleaning. And the ultimate space saver, of course, mounted on the wall and voila, it's like a piece of modern art that sucks up all of your dirt. You'll save more floor space than a contortionist in a tiny house. So who's this for? Well, it's for the spatially challenged, the garage gurus who need every inch of floor space for more important things like that 1967 Corvette or, you know, walking. It's ideal for those who want a clean space but don't want their vacuum to be a permanent fixture in their personal square footage. Just remember, it's like a guard dog on a leash. It can only go so far. If you need mobility, this might not be your dance partner. But if you're all about maximizing space, then get ready to mount this wonder on your wall and reclaim your floor. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for very light jobs and this is the Shop Vac One Gallon Micro Wet Dry Vacuum. So for those of you who believe that less is more, let me introduce this one. It's the vacuum equivalent of a minimalist painting. Tiny, unassuming, but surprisingly effective. If your messes are as light as your commitment to cleaning, then this little gadget is your soulmate. Some of the key features, super small and very easy to move. This vacuum is so portable, it's practically a nomad. You can carry it around like a handbag, but instead of lipstick and keys, it's filled with pure unadulterated suction power. Perfect for light jobs. If your idea of mess is a spilled cup of tea or a dust bunny uprising, then this vacuum has your back. It's like having a pocket-sized superhero for dirt. So who's this one for? Well, perfect for those who view cleaning as an occasional hobby rather than a full-time job. It's suited for the artist who sprinkles glitter like fairy dust, the hobbyist who's more into creating messes than cleaning them, or the occasional clumsy chef. If your messes are modest and your storage space is precious, this is your knight in shining plastic. Just don't expect it to tackle a mountain of debris. It's more of a molehill kind of warrior. All right, so those are my recommendations there. Hopefully there's something on that list for you. If you do have any questions though, you can drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, it really helps if you drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.